presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Alan Homosasa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Uh, isn't it wonderful? This gentleman here with the gold report, right before the market fell apart, ended up with PAAS. We have a 98% gain in a year. And uh, I mean, you weren't 99% proof like Irish whiskey, but we had a good gain there. You always told us to do what we feel comfortable with. And if I lose a little bit of money on the table, I will, but I know that I just pocketed eight or $9,000 in two weeks. That's a beautiful thing, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks, and a great week. Don't make assumptions. Let your life be transformed. When you stop making assumptions, your word becomes impeccable and your life is completely transformed. Magic just happens in your life. What you need comes through you easily because the spirit moves freely through you. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 188, NASDAQ's off 321, S&P's off 46, gold contract trading up 1060 at 1851 an ounce. We have silver up 12 cents, $21.55 an ounce. Light sweet crude up $5.55 at a price point of $105.34. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note up 15 ticks, trading $119.08. The 30 year up a full point, plus three ticks at $131.21. And King Dollar. King Dollar is up 28 ticks, trading at $103.949. Euro is 105, yen's 129. British pound is at 126 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you get a highly volatile market. That bottom line is building cars for lower price. Uh, Spies right now at 394. Next stop is 366. We put this up here. You're going to see that, you know, bottom line is that we're back right now in the spies to uh, March of 2021. Uh, you can see the acceleration. You know, this is on a weekly. I mean, look at this volume, man. I mean, you broke last week with monster volume. It's going to be another break this week. There's, you know, uh, the one to one to 382 is at uh, 366 level. The next low out there is 370. So I suspect you'll get to the low. The problem with the market, folks, OK, is that we went up so fast. And so far, that a normal retracement was just going to wipe, you know, a huge amount of capitalization out of the market. And we're, you know, my take is we're at the beginning of it. You look at the NDX 100, the three Qs, three Qs right now down 750. You're at 293. The first price projection here in the Qs is 291, 281 rather. And, you know, bottom line is that, you're going to see when we take a look at the Qs, you know, you're, you're already at the 297. You broke that. That was at high volume low, okay? Ripped that apart because the ABC structure. The next, the next step down, you know, bottom line, we have an ABC structure to 281 with a one-to-one. -one. <laughs> it looks to me like, you know, it, this 260s game. I mean, when you, when you break down this dramatically, what you have is this. Everyone in the NDX deal that has bought since November of 2020 is in a losing position. So you get the rest of it. The rest of it is, you know, people, you know, there's still too many people that want to buy. That, that's When you have a market that's down this dramatically, folks, and you still hear that you're going to buy the dip, you're going to buy the dip. When we come to a bottom, no one is going to be buying the dip. For a couple different reasons. People will have less money. People will be fed up with the marketplace. People will be scared. That's how bottoms get made. Bottoms do not get made 
<laughs> when you're in the middle of a market going south. Uh, and the, the problem with the market right now, how it goes south, is that you're going up and down, and so the faith is still there. Like, oh, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's a tough market. That's the bottom line. Let's go to Amy in Las Vegas. Hey, Amy, what's going on? Hey, Tom. How you doing? I am wonderful. How are you? Good, thank you. Good. Thanks for calling. Appreciate it. I appreciate you. I, I am long on uh, MRO. Okay, so let's take a look. You get Marathon Oil, lows $10, the highs 29 This is up today with oil being up $5.50. It should be up. Um, what I would do with this is put a stop in, like, ASAP. Because my take is, is this is going to, that oil bottom line, the OIH is topped out. You know, this looks like it's going to be small ABC structure down. And, I mean, it's not, I don't think it's the end of the run for MRO, but I think you're going to take some heat here, you know. Okay. So, because see what happened, it went up to this 26.57 today and it couldn't handle it. And you have lighter volume, so it's like, okay, you're going to do a small ABC down. And if it does, it's not, it's like a six and a half, six, yeah, it's like a, this thing could get down to $20 pretty easy. Wow. So, you know, okay. let me just see something for a second. So, yeah, that's good, though. They don't come out, they don't come out with their numbers until August 3rd. So the way that, you know, there's a couple different ways you can do this, Amy, right? You can just say, okay, I'm going to sell it. Or you just say, listen, I'm at 2546. I suspect you're in a pretty good winning position at this point. Um, and then you just say, hey, listen, if this gets below and, you know, goes, you know, down a point, another point, two points, you know, I'm out. Um, okay. You know, and it... And it and it will be easier if you actually put that in, you know, yeah. versus, versus trying to make that decision if it gets down there. Because the decisions are always tough. You know what I'm saying? You say, oh. Yes. And don't give up that money because you, you get a good trade. Um, okay. But this is a bad market. That's, that's the bottom line. And you know, like, like all these oil services, you know, I mean, the expansion was dramatic that they've actually done. You know, I mean, look at this. You know, six months you've gone... Yeah, you know, well, it went up 100 percent, you know. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, there's there's only so much markets will go up and or go down. So, right. You, you have a great one, a safe one, Amy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Dow Dow Industrials right now off 177. The Nasdaq's off 321. S&Ps are off 46. And yeah, Coinbase, folks, this is a wild man. I mean, they're the the crypto world folks okay right now is imploding if you didn't hear it yet uh what you had last night is that uh the terra coin okay that is supposed to bottom line is a stable it's supposed to be a stable coin staying at a dollar uh what ended up happening is that it went to 20 well it went to 60 cents sadly and then they tried to get it back to a dollar went to 20 cents last night it's that's it it's imploded uh so we'll see whether they can get it back up the only way you can get that back up by the way has put in, they're trying to put 1.5 billion in right now to get it back up. But picture this, if you just lost all that money, do you think you can go get a whole bunch more money to get it in to get it up? The bottom line is that I think we're gonna find out uh, just what all these digital uh, assets are actually worth. And my take is that, guess what? The big zero. Stay right there folks, we'll come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading down 165. You get the NASDAQ off 323. S&Ps are off 44. So I have this Coinbase up here, folks, okay? Now, what it, yeah, let me read this for you first because this is pretty intense, right? In this quarterly report, Coinbase added a risk disclosure. If the company were to file for bankruptcy, the court might treat customer assets that the exchange is custodian for, their Bitcoin, Dogecoin, or whatever, as Coinbase's assets and they would be at the back of the line for repayment, forcing normal people unaccustomed to the ins and outs of federal bankruptcy court to claw back their money along with everyone else's money owed to the exchange. It, that is pretty intense statement, folks. <laughs> you know, that will, would absolutely not happen in any exchange, you know, that's regulated by either the Commodities Futures Exchange or the, you know, SEC. Uh, so you can see, you know, we, we turn around, you, you take a look at Coinbase right now. So it's down right now 20 bucks. You're trading at 50.47. We put this on, oh, this is a disaster. My God, I was, I was gonna say, you know, there's nothing below this. Wow, no, there's nothing below this. So when there's not, technically when there's nothing below this, it's like, okay, where's it going? It's going down. Let's go to Jose in uh, Lakeland. Jose, what's going on, brother? Good afternoon, Tom. Tom, a skeleton walks into a bar and he says to the bartender, I'd like a beer and a mop. Uh, listen, hey, don't worry. I have a new joke writer coming down from the Catskills. He's excellent. He just can't afford flight fare. He's taking a bus. He said he'll be here in 11 months. I love it. <laughs> Tom, I shorted the tech bounce this morning and I'm grinning ear to ear. Now, you're getting an ugly close, you say here. I'm guessing they're not going to be rushing in to buy tech tomorrow morning. I don't think so, man. You okay. know, um, and you know, if you wanted to look at Microsoft, Microsoft, I believe, is an ABC structure down. It, it it blew away. Yeah, it did. I was looking at a lot of these this morning, folks. Okay, and you should see the amount of ABC structures down on daily and weekly basis. I mean, it's intense, man. I mean, well, you know. Apple's croaking, Cadence is croaking, yep. um, yep. which is a wonderful thing. Look, if you know where the next thousand direction of the next thousand points is, it makes your life so much easier. Well, we know we're all in the speculation business, but that what is blowing my mind in this kind of one in general is that uh, 
But I can understand that there's so many people that haven't been in the market. Well, no, they've been in the market, but they've only seen an up market for 15 years. So I, I get it. Um, of course, of course. You know. So, uh, look, the millennials, the Gen Xs, whatever you call them, they, they've never experienced pain. Well, they're going to get pain now. Uh, hey, Tom, I got a specific question on a new construction. Uh, I got a couple things going, single-family homes up north. I say north near Ocala. Okay. So, if it's a new builder and they haven't even scraped the ground yet, and I gave a deposit last December, and the trusses are being delivered June thirtieth, isn't that isn't that time to get my attorney? Who he's called the spitting cobra. Yeah. Uh, isn't it time to get an attorney and start asking questions? Yes, for sure. Oh, okay. For sure. Oh boy. Oh yeah. boy. Yeah. All right. Uh, That's okay. not how it goes. The, the the correlation goes like this. They're, they're going to scrape the ground. They're going to. Are there any trees on the property? No. Okay, so you scrape the ground. You you know you're going to put the footers in. You know, stack it up the sides, right? Put the floors in, and then bring the trusses in. But yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, but if they haven't started after a deposit was given in early December, and the, the, nothing has been done, and here it is, middle of May, is it time to get an attorney? Yeah, and I try to get my money back, and I wouldn't build the building either, unless you get the, you get a duplex, or you, if you're building it and you get some good rents. I wouldn't build it to sell it. Why not? Well, you've heard me, man. I mean, I'm in this business. I think we're going to take a hit, man. I've consolidated everything. If, you know, oh, I've been, I got you. I got you. I, I, got, I got plans for it where I'm going to do a lease back to an investor. Good. No, that's great. Yeah. yeah, right. But I'm concerned about no action taken uh, by a builder who's been in business in Tampa for years, OC Construction, and they haven't even scraped ground after, since December. Yeah. It's time to get an attorney. It is. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Have a good one. Have a safe one, man. Let's get a Mike in Orange County. What's going on, Mike? Hi, Tom. How you doing? I just wanted to call and say thank you for the uh, the uh, Discord um, uh, Dens room. It's a wonderful thing. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Isn't that that's great? There's no doubt. And, and I, I'd like you to look at Tesla and see how how low you think that thing could go. Um, we Next had, stop uh, is low in. Uh, in February of 700. Yeah, next stop is 700. The stop after that's five. But let me let me take a look at this, okay? Because I the reason right. I'm, I was so quick on that answer, Mike, is that I've been watching this all morning long. Um, so okay. what you have here is this, folks, okay? So you get the two, you know, get the three peaks in Tesla. You get a swing low at 700, but the low of like 539 wants to be hit and. If it breaks that, you know, I, I can make a case that Tesla wants to go to $193. <laughs> and where right. I'm going is that it's a high volume spike from uh, February of 2020. Yeah, okay. What do you think it's going to take for the, you know, there, a lot of hedge funds, I mean, I mean, not hedge funds, a lot of investors are heavy in this thing. How much? How much does it is it going to take for them to get uh, nervous and get out? Um, you know, you, you never know that, but I know that when you get downdrafts like this, um, these are total wipeout downdrafts, unfortunately. So it's a slow bleed. Like, see, this market that we've actually had, even though it's down every day like fifty S and P points, okay, is that. When you get a slow bleed, like kind of where we are now, meaning it bounces back a little, comes down, what I, that's when really the most amount of money actually gets lost because people have that type of hope. Do you know what I mean? And the thing that's really weird, folks, is that what I've looked at, so, do you know what I mean? There's so many stocks that are down like 70 to 80%. <laughs> it's like, you know, that's... That is, it's amazing. it is amazing. It's, amazing. it's, you know, so that the amount of capitalization in the marketplace, which equates to people's accounts, is quite dramatic. That has gone down. So everyone is going to feel, you know, um, less wealthy. And yeah, for sure. And it's, you need to, Tom, you need to, you need to start doing your live classes. You, you got to get the next generation of traders up up and running get them in the markets and when this thing holds all shakes out you're, you're going to have a a huge following 
No, I appreciate that. Well, again, Larry's going to be up next Wednesday. That's going to be a great workshop, and I am going to get a workshop out there. Um, but, you know, I to cut to the chase, I think that we're at the beginning of something that's going to go on for a couple of years. That, that's my, my take is that this is like a 99, 2000. You're going down, getting killed for, you know, and it's just relentless for a couple of years. And, and what happens with that, if I'm right, folks, you get down, you get down. Then all of a sudden, you see what happens is that people get used to losing money. Then you go sideways and say, OK, we're hoping it's over. Then you take the next leg down. Then you go sideways again. Then you take the next leg down. And then, you bad know, the bottom line is that then it starts going back up again. It's not going to be the end of the world, but it's, it's a very rough market right now. Cooking, yeah, brother. I had a job. Okay, Tom. Thank, thank you. you, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Right. Dow Industrials right now down 142. Nasdaq's off 321. S&P's off 42. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. .com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 179. You get the NASDAQ off 328. S&Ps are off uh, 46. So let's go look at uh, EXK. So EXK, uh, this is a silver stock. Uh, bottom line is that uh, you got yourself uh, a little pop today. Uh, it, it come out with those numbers. Uh, bottom line, you know, the estimate was uh, 4.6 4, 4 cents and it made 7 cents. Revenue estimate was 53 million, it did 57. So the bottom line is that you definitely got um, good fundamental numbers. So the real question is, is that, you know, is this thing going to go higher? I would not be buying um, this equity. I, I would. What, what I did this morning uh, is that, you know, one of the, uh, well, actually it was Frank from Gloucester. I was talking about the den, PPLT. I bought the PPLT this morning. But I wouldn't be buying the, uh, the gold and silver equities right now, folks. Um, you know, my, my take is that 
um, you know, this market wants lower price. As it wants lower price, and it's still about this dollar. See, this dollar is hanging, man. It's it's just hanging at its highs. So, you know, I'd let this thing play out, man. I mean, look at this. We're up there. This is the 10th day that we're up at these highs. Because if you break these highs, we're going to 121. And if we break, if we go to 121, let me tell you something, man. Um, this market is really going to take a beating. Let's go to uh, Phil in Puerto Rico. Hey, Phil, what's going on, brother? Uh, cooking it. Appreciate your time. Wanted to take a look at back. BKKT. Let's take a look at it. So you got, um, this is uh, the operator software company. The low is today two dollars and nineteen cents. The high is fifty dollars. This is hard to even comprehend. I gotta see. I gotta take a look at this, man. Holy cow! Let's see. Cheers. Oh, I see. So this is a spark. These sparks, folks, are unbelievable. So this is a spark. Okay, that's how it came public. Share price was ten bucks. Runs up to fifty. Comes down to two dollars. Doesn't make money. So outside of the aspect that. This thing is at $2, Phil. Tell me what you like, man. <laughs> well, you know me. I just look for them. I like to buy the blood, swing them for maybe 50, 50 cents, 80 right. cents. Right. You know, I had some success with them before. I take a small swing. Yeah. I wouldn't do you this now. On the screener. You like, have a down market. So what happens is this, right? In a down market, the all the folks that used to be able to get you that small swing, Phil, are gone. They're broke. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So you got to look for another field to play in because that's what ends up happening. So I'm glad you actually called with this because I actually forgot about that portion of it. What, what happens in a market like this also, folks, is that there's, you know, uh, what Phil does, I love to do too. I, I, I like that deal. I mean, when, when you get a decent market, you know, you, you know, five or 10,000 shares and, you know, it adds up to 20 or 50 cents. Um, we're not in that market, man. You know, it will be back, but we're not in that market right now. So you're going to find somewhere else to play in. Appreciate the time, Tom. Okay, man. You have a great one and a safe one. You as well. Have a great one. Thank you. So let's, oh, you know what we had yesterday too? Now watch this, folks. Okay. You not only went lower, but you had an expansion of volume also. See that? We did 1.3 billion the last two days. And the NYSE, and on the NASDAQ, we did 6.5, I think. Yeah, 6.1. We did 6.1. That also, folks, is, uh, you know, when you keep going lower and you get an acceleration of volume without um, a real traction. I mean, I understand these markets down, but this is still not a real traction. You know, I've explained yesterday what, you know, you need for this to get over. And so just let's let's talk about inflation for a second. Let's talk about interest rates. Right. So the CPI committed 8.3. In my experience and anyone that was around the 70s. OK, is that when inflation comes in, folks. OK, so inflation is a couple of different things. Inflation fundamentally is too much cash chasing not enough goods. That's how it starts. That's how it starts. That's, that's, that's the premier that you want to get your head wrapped around, it starts. As it accelerates and gets into the system, which is into the system well, very well embedded into the system right now, it just doesn't leave. That's not how it goes. That's impossible almost for it to go. What normally happens is this, is that they'll go with a 50 basis points, 50 basis points, my take, that's not even going to be close to be enough. This market, in order to stop inflation, needs a jolt of a lifetime. That's what Volcker gave it in 75, I believe, to you know, basically get us out of it. Someone's going to have to have the guts to do that. And we'll see where, where it is. 50-50-50 does not do it. You know? And you know, so you get two different things happening. You get markets going south because... You know, rates going so fast up. The era of inexpensive money is gone. Now you can see what has happened is that money is gone to, you know, money heaven. 
because of the fact of how fast this came down. So just think through, you know, whether it's uh, crowdsourcing places, crypto places, S&P, Dow Industrials, NASDAQ, okay? <laughs> it's all getting sucked out. And what we haven't seen yet, and what we are going to see um, before we even get close to, well, not close to bottom, but at a bottom, it's going to be this whole thing about who has the bait and suit on, you know, uh, and one of the targets brought this up yesterday inside the den, that we are going to see, you know, uh, a couple of Madoff stories. That's, that's how it goes. That's how it seems to always go. It doesn't have to be as big as Madoff, but you're going to see some huge frauds that took place. And because the market, you know, went down, that all of a sudden, oh, man, here, here's another implosion. Here's another implosion. That's what seems to happen to markets when they go this fast. You know, what is, ha what is happening out here this morning, so PIMPCO is, I was starting to talk about this yesterday, meaning the, the currency part, portion of it, right? So PIMPCO's, they run $2 trillion in bonds. Well, they're getting worried, okay? They, they put a paper out this morning uh, saying that they thought that folks uh, were being too pessimistic inside of the bond market, and if they got more pessimistic, that it could really jolt the market. Well, guess what? That's what markets do. And I expect that that's exactly what you're going to see because what, what happens so many times is that companies claim that they're not leveraged. And they're not like you and I, folks. I'm not talking about 50% leverage that you're in there. The larger companies can leverage 10, 20 to 1 very quickly, okay? That is the type of implosion that comes, and it comes very quick when, when, it, when it does happen. So let's go take a look at Disney. I believe Disney, Disney must be coming out with numbers. Let's see. Yep. Oh, this is nice after the close today. Okay, so let's see what Dis Disney's at 104. The no, low's 104 today. We're right at it. The high's 187. Disney is going to be looking to take in 20.1 billion and take, make $1.17 to the bottom line. Okay, so now let's go let's look at this technically. Put this uh, two year. Okay, stay right there, folks. We come right back. We'll uh, bisect and dissect good old Disney. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, so let's take a look at this. We're going to go to Apple. I want to look at Apple for a second because Apple looks like to me it's you get a you get a pretty good breakdown here. So you get uh, Dow's uh, off two seventy three, Nasdaq's off three fifty three, S and P's are off fifty eight. Now, if we go over to Apple, and this is where this always goes, the chicken, you know, and the the egg. Uh, because the lower that Apple goes, the lower that the NDX goes, lower the NDX goes, lower the Apple goes. Okay, because of the of the, how they're structured. So, we take a look at this. Put this on a week. It looks to me like you get a full ABC down, meaning like, I think this is thing's gonna run to like, one twenty, because you get a full break. Yeah, you get a full break. Okay, so you get a full break happening. Top of that's one eighty two. The bottom of it's one fifty. So it's thirty two. I get you one twenty, man. Yeah, that makes sense. That's that's pretty easy to get to in Apple's case because it went up so high. So, you know, 120 brings you all the way back to uh, September of 2020. So that is uh, that's quite a way down. Uh, there's no doubt about it. Uh, we get into the let's go just look at the future contract right now and see where we're at. So you got we got 15 minutes. You're going to break out these lows again. So the first low of today was uh, 34, 47. No, 39. Oh, no, I see what this happened. Where, where is it? I see. One second. Hold on. Oh, that's right. So the first low was 30, 39, 47. Next low was 39, 39 and the next low we just hit is 39 36 but the way we just hit this watch this see that okay 38,000 versus 34 we're going lower man unreal so it, it's accelerating that's what's happening here you know you, you didn't do it you did you didn't do a point well, you just did 0.382 you get more people selling you know we go with the NQs we take a look at those and you're gonna see that that's I suspect is gonna basically yeah, it's already done it. So the NQs have already done it. And some of the higher volume equities. Let's just look at some of the higher volume equities and see where we're at here. So you got Apple's down eight bucks. Coinbase is that's twenty bucks. Unity Soft, oh Unity Software. See that down eighteen. Now it's trading thirty. That is one disaster. Lucid's down two. That's at thirteen. You got Block down. Look at Block, man. God, that's down thirteen. It's seventy. Here, let's bring that up. SQ. So that's breaking all its lows. Okay, so you may, last week we came in with 114 million versus 131. You know what's going on here, folks? It's gonna be a monster ABC down. Whoa, baby, watch out here, what's this? <laughs> 255, 
That'd be crazy, man. Yeah, so one second, yeah. 255, no, two, 270. 270 to 82. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I kind of do that because that's, that's saying that one's out of business. Let's go to Mike in Wyoming. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how you been? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Doing awesome today. Good. Hey, Tom, I was looking at Shopify, and I was kind of like, Trying to figure out, like, by the little bars, the uh, volume bars. Did that go down to $120 from where it's at at $317? let us take a look, you know. And this is one of the equities, folks, that makes money. But if you want to see the type of market when in, Shopify has gone from $1,700, $1,762 to $317. And I believe... Yeah, you get an ABC down. So let's just look at that one. That that ABC is 988 to 511. So what that's 370. That gets you uh, 400. But we're already at 318. Okay, so now let's bring this back into a monthly. Wow. <laughs> oh man, they haven't been around for 15 years. So. You know, 305. Well, the next stop's 305, but there's not much support there. I mean, this could, that high volume bar at 120, it could go to, yeah. Crazy. But it can. Yeah. All right. Make <laughs> sure I'm looking at my little volume bars, right? Yeah. No, listen, I, I, <laughs> and this is the type of market that you have to look at twice, Mike. There's no doubt, man. I mean, I was pulling up some equities this morning, right? I, what happened, folks, I could not actually believe, it, particularly because I'm in front of the screens every day, how many ABC structures on weeklies have just blown apart the B points, you know? And so it's like, right. okay, you know, it's, we're going lower, man. Cooking, brother. Thanks a lot, Tommy. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. The... Uh, I suspect, and so now what you also have is this. So picture this. Everyone is waiting for the CPI. Well, the CPI come out. CPI is hot. We're Wednesday, and it's really hard, folks, to get a market going if you can't get it going by Wednesday in the week. That's my point. Um, you know, so we'll see if uh, you can get any type of juice, but... Uh, inside of the Dow Industrials, let's take a look at the movers out here, uh, high and low. That uh, So putting points, positive points into the Dow is that you have uh, Visa put 19 points in, Caterpillar 18, uh, Chevron 16, taken away from it. Microsoft, minus 60, Apple, minus 54, Home Depot, minus 48, uh, Salesforce, minus, minus 36. You're talking some heavy numbers here. Um, okay, now, we get, oh, that's what I was doing. we got to go back to Disney, because Disney's coming out with numbers after the close. So, it's at a low right now. They, let's bring this up, put this on a weekly. Okay, so we've got a three-year weekly happening. It broke. It broke the swing with volume. You're coming into 107. So Disney, right, can really be a heads up for all of us as to where this market might be going. Disney right now is going into the lows from March 2020. It's like, you know, that's pretty heavy, folks. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. That, that is pretty heavy. Let's put this on a monthly for a second. Because on the daily, it looked like it was coming in with light volume. Hey, Disney's going to test this high volume low, man. Disney has a high volume low. And if that's what the market wants to do, you really get out of the way. Because the high volume low was like a, you know, a long way down in the S&P. But Disney's dug, dug into it. So it's like, there's no reason it can't go to 79. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. With market volatility roaring back in April, Larry Pesavento has just announced a five-hour live trading webinar coming up on May 17th. Larry Pesavento is a 56-year trading veteran and has mastered his trading skills through many different market fluctuations. Join Larry on May 17th as he hosts a live five-hour trading webinar from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern Time, giving you insight into how he analyzes the market and decides his plays. Larry will delve deep into the ABCD trading pattern, explaining how to structure your trading day, the times most likely to generate signals, which signals to ignore, and how to use the pattern to mitigate risk. In this all-day five-hour live trading webinar, take a seat by Larry's side as he trades the market it's real time, including the Dow and S&P 500 E mini, crude oil, natural gas, gold, treasury bonds, wheat and soybeans, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar yen, and more. If you've ever wanted to get inside the mind of a market master, you cannot miss this live trading webinar. To sign up today, just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is down 361. The Nasdaq's off uh, 397. S&Ps are off 72. And, you know, you just heard the promotion for Larry. This is going to be a great webinar, folks. It's coming this Tuesday. Okay, so Larry's going to be trading live from 9 o'clock in the morning to 2 in the afternoon, also showing you the patents, getting you acclimated as to what he's looking at, and he does great workshops, folks. So check it out. Come over to the front page of TFNN. Uh, you can sign up right there very quickly, and you will be off to the races. And needless to say, uh, you know, volatility, uh, I suspect. Vol it, what happens, folks, is that volatility just doesn't go away uh, overnight. That, that's that's how markets kind of run, um, you know. When we take a look at the Nasdaq, so check this out. This is pretty intense. So we bring the Nasdaq up. I'm going to bring this up on a monthly, so you can kind of see how this is laying out right now, and you can really see that not only just the destruction that has already happened, um, you can see that you know we're right back now. And just look at this. Where so it took. Four, eight, 12, 16. It took 17 months to, to go from approximately 10,700 up to 60, up to 18,000. And it took, we're only on the sixth month now on the way down. So you can see when you look at this composite that, you know, you're already eating into the bars. So like, 
the NQ, I mean, the, the composite wants to go to 10,500. But there's not much there either. The, the more I keep looking at this market, man, this is going to be like crazy. This thing's got this, this, well, yeah, this thing wants to go back to that pandemic uh, area. And it'll be really tough to break that. It'll be tough to break the highs of that because there was so much volume at the lows. It doesn't necessarily have to go to the lows. But what's going to be intriguing is that, you know, we'll see where Disney comes out, you know, after the close. Great company. There's no doubt about that. But bottom line is that when you're in a market like this, too, man, it's brutal. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God there is always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock. Go get him, folks.